Evermore, we're joined by economist Norbert Walter. Nice to have you with us. Yep. Well, as we just heard in this report, it's increasingly complicated and difficult for companies to find people suitable to also take uh, jobs in a leading position. Yeah. Why is that? Yeah, it's the lack of skilled people. It is the difficulty to find people who take responsibility. Uh, we are all happy uh, to be more leisurely and uh, that, that makes, makes life very difficult for entrepreneurs. But it's only the start. It's only getting worse. But nevertheless, on the whole, 2011 was a pretty good year for the mm -hmm. German uh, job market. Unemployment in Germany actually mm -hmm. dropped to a 20-year low uh, over the past years. Last year or last month, it was uh, at 6.6%. Mm -hmm. Now, when we look, on the other hand, at other Eurozone countries in comparison, we see that the unemployment rate there rose to over 10%. How do you explain the big difference from other Eurozone countries? Good economic policy, reasonable unions in Germany for a number of years, plus something structural. Most of the other countries, Spain, Ireland, for example, had a booming construction sector and a booming real estate market that now is collapsing. And this is labor-intensive jobs. And therefore, now they have high unemployment because just of the dismissal of people in the construction sector. And how long do you think will the good times last for the German job market? 2012 will not be as positive as uh, the two years before because the international recession will, of course, strike. We will not sell as many capital goods to the rest of the world as we did in 2011. Therefore, growth rates will be much lower in 2012. 1% rather than 3% last year. But talking of exports, as an export nation, mm. could Germany perhaps even profit uh, from the current crisis and the low euro? From the low euro, yes. We winning market shares internationally. Germany, this little country, has a 10% share in world trade, which is unbelievable. And it has to do with the exchange rate. But within Europe, with the weak economies in Italy uh, and Spain, two quite sizable countries, we will suffer. This is not the something to win from. Okay. It all, of course, will also depend on how the financial sector will fare in 2012. For the moment, Norbert Walter, thank you very much.